she gave me was to enjoy the song more and believe in what I was singing and to incorporate my audience more and sing to people rather than singing to myself. With all of my Adiola, oh. you're looking like you're sleeping, half awake, half asleep. Sorry. Which one are you doing? Where's your sunglasses you had before? Where's your sunglasses? I don't put it on, put your sunglasses on. Let me see, put your sunglasses on. Okay, so when you put the sunglasses on, how do you feel? Uh, right yeah. now, how do you feel right now? I feel good. You feel good, you feel cool, super cool. Oh, you see? You transformed into somebody else. Who's this now? Who's this person? This is not Adiola anymore. Who's this? Bond, James Bond. James Bond, exactly. When she asked me who am I, I said Bond. James Bond. Because I'm a fan of Bond films anyway. Come on, come on. Turn down for work. Come on. Pump it up, pump it up. Glasses or no glasses, but I don't felt more, more comfortable with it. How are you going to end it? Your last line. Let me see now. What a mighty God we serve. It was good, but not good enough. So I have to practice more and I have to give it my goal, my dancing. So, yeah. Start that again. Don't get carried away with the woo woo yeah. woos and the ooh ooh oohs. They don't know where to come in. Okay? Start again. Lord, show me where you want me to Start go. again. Lord, show me where you want me to go. Because I can't take I think that my session with Abigail went okay. I did like mess up a few times. I didn't know when to come in for the first verse. Because I kept on thinking it was the chorus, but it was the verse. So <laughs> yeah. Okay. Any? That wasn't any good for me, okay? No good at all. I thought you can do much better than that. You need to make sure that you 100% want this. Do you want this? Yeah. Are you sure you want yes. this? Why do you want this? I want this because I believe that it's my time to shine. All right, right now, you're not shining. It's disappointing for me because I know that you could do much better than that. I think that maybe the way I was portraying it or singing, she didn't really think that I wanted it, but yeah, I really want this. So for 30 seconds, I need to put your head down, I need to get serious now. Whatever you need to do to get yourself into that mode, do it now, because what you delivered a second ago is not any good. I definitely feel that I'm ready for the final. I feel that with just a little bit of practice, because I'm prepared, I didn't get a little bit of practice with this song. I believe that, if I don't even believe, I know that I can win time for shine, so. I don't want anything less than that, any. If you don't deliver that on the day, you're not gonna get anywhere. This is what you have to do. Having a great voice is not about it. You need to know how to utilize that voice and make it shine, do you understand? And that only happens when you 100% believe in yourself that you want something. I think that maybe the way I was portraying it or singing, she didn't really think that I wanted it, but yeah, I really want it. And through it all, i make you stronger. And when you fall, there I'll be your shoulder. And through it all, I'll lift you higher. And when you fall, there I'll be your shoulder. I owe, I owe, I owe. All of my praises to you, I owe, I owe, I owe, all of my worship to you. The best piece of advice Abby Girl gave me was to um, use more motion and build on dynamics. That's really important quality for a singer to have. The perfect sacrifice to show my gratitude. For all the things you do, 
Lord, I give to you true praises from my heart. Lord, I give to you true praises from my heart. I feel like I've improved since my last performance. I feel a lot more confident and a lot more empowered um, that this is what I want to do. The way I was singing it was fine, but my facial expression was so like, it, it had no emotion. So I need to, I really need to smile more. I really need to move just a little bit more. But in terms of vocals, I believe it was okay. Yes, for me, it's just kind of just, it's just churning up a lot. Um, I guess I've been to this point quite a few times and missed the mark and then there's just so much other stuff going on and I guess that song kind of just ministered to me to just know that in the midst of what I'm going through, that that he really is reviving me to be able to just have the strength to be here and, and to do this. I believe so strongly in you, Andrea. Thank you. I believe so strongly in you. Thank you. understand? How do you feel right now? Um. Oh, a bit emotional. Emotional? Um, yeah. Just, just to hear Abby say that she believes in me, it just means a lot. This is kind of the furthest that I've ever got and it kind of shows me that just determination and 
the willingness to just, you know, constantly try will pay off eventually. And I think when I go back to the house, I'm just going to have time to reflect and just be ready to just nail it in front of the judges and just put my heart there. So I was in the kitchen and suddenly we just heard the door go. And we were surprised because we thought it's not a house where we should really be getting visited. Oh my word, Anastasia came to the house, sitting about five feet away from us and was chatting like she has been there all the time. It was just incredible. I just heard you guys were down here and thought, you know, I'd just come down and give you guys some words of encouragement. Seems as I've, you know, been in this um, position myself. I've actually been on different talent competitions in the past and there's only going to be one winner. But however, every single journey that you take, whatever show it is, it's like you have to take that as an experience and it teaches you so much. So that just prepared me a lot for time to shine. And I just feel that whatever it is, just take this competition on board and don't give up. When Anastasia came into the house, it was just so exciting. I think it just brought everyone's mood up, you know, like she had a little talk with us and I think it just put everyone in high spirits. I'm actually um, doing a US tour. I've actually got some great news. Um, yeah, yeah, that could be, yeah, yeah. I'm doing a 10 day um, US tour. One of the things that I'll be doing, <laughs> um, Kirk Franklin, do you know he has the um, Sunday brunch? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'll be doing the House of Blues, so wow. I'm gonna be there, Amazing. yeah. All right. With the talk that she gave to us, I was able to like understand her more and who she is. Um, you personally, what would you look for in the next time to shine star? I think it's about the whole package. Um, it isn't just about being able to sing. What I'd look for in a contestant is a lot of things, so it would be how genuine they are. Have they got something to say? Are you going to impact people? Because really being an artist, it's not about just singing and having a pretty voice. There's a lot more that goes with that. So what have you done in, um, in terms of press? Okay, um, I've actually done uh, quite a lot of press. Um, biggest one I'll say I've done is Music Week. I was actually on the front page of Music Week, so wow. yeah, that was pretty um, amazing. I've also done BBC, so a lot of radio interviews, BBC, Premier Radio, numerous amounts of magazines and online um, press. And that's also something that you need to um, be good at, is being able to talk and being able to do interviews, you know. I think what I took from what she said was really just when she spoke about the person needs to have the whole package, that really resonated to me. I really loved the um, song, Let Me Go. Can you give us a preview of it, please? Yeah, come on, come on! Yeah, sure, no problem. I'll sing that for you. Okay, um, right. Let me go Let me be who I should be when she sang, it was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard in my life. And she sang it with so much soul, like... can live and be free, you're holding me back. But it won't last, you can never hold me back from destiny. like almost in tears to be honest and um, it really touched me. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was just like absolutely amazing just getting the opportunity to come and see the guys at the boot camp round. I can just remember being in this situation myself. It even makes me even realise even much more how far I've come. I just wish them all the best of luck. It's almost like coming to the end of the world <laughs> when you know that uh, judgment day is around the corner. Uh, the trumpet can sound any time and you don't know, uh, am I going to make it or not? But with all faith as a Christian, I'm looking forward to making it. So I'm applying that same faith to meeting the judges. I'm 
ever going to feel prepared. The key for me is just to really let go and enjoy it and pretend like I'm just worshipping the Lord because really that's what it is. I'm performing, but ultimately it's worshipping the Lord and trying to bring other people into that experience. It is sad that boot camp's kind of over. Gelling with everyone and catching up with everyone has been amazing and also just just things like jamming and around the piano, that's been cool. And then tomorrow is, um, is when we meet with the judges and you know, you've got this nervous, exciting feeling. It's like almost like Christmas, but not quite. <laughs> I feel like I've come so far from when I started and I just want the judges to see that. I want them to see like me develop and see something new in me. I just want them to be really impressed. We are excited about the performing in front of the judges. Um, excited but nervous. Yeah, nervous. <laughs> Have excited. we prepared enough? Uh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs>